back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great start to your day. I am here today to do the Pop Sugar Must Have Unboxing for July 2015. For those of you unfamiliar with Pop Sugar, I will link their website in the description below. And as always, if you have any other questions or concerns about Pop Sugar, just ask them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them back as soon as possible. Let's move right into this unboxing. So the first thing that I'm pulling out of the bag is by Henry Vendel from New York and it looks like a little canvas bag. I don't believe there's anything in here except for like tissue paper and I'm right, it's just tissue paper but they're giving us a little bag. I actually like the way that that opens, it kind of opens up to a wide mouth. And again, there's just tissue paper in here. I like the contrast of colors and again, it's just a bag. It's a canvas material on it and I do like the colors. It's brown and white and it has a blue little patch over here and when you open it up, it's all blue. This is kind of perfect for me. I'm leaving for Disney very, very soon and this is the perfect little bag to throw all my cosmetics. So I'm pretty impressed with this so far. Okay, enough of that. The next thing that I'm pulling out of the box, I can't open up, it is by Super Goop. This is a Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary, a broad spectrum sunscreen that has an SPF of 50. This is a matte finish 3-in-1, sets makeup, controls oil, and delivers UV photo aging protection. I'm actually pretty impressed with this item and I'm also a little bit disappointed not on Pop Sugar's end, I'm more disappointed with myself because like I just said, I'm going to Disney very soon and I just bought the same exact product. Not this brand, I bought the Ben Nye Final Seal. It was only like $10 on Amazon, but I just bought this because I wanted a photo finish matte spray for my makeup when I went to Disney, but now I have two of them. And to continue kicking myself with the behind, we are getting the Yes Blueberries Age Refresh Cleansing Facial Wipes. Another thing I just bought for Disney. Again, this is not on Pop Sugar's end. These are awesome products. I'm really excited to get them, but I wish I would've got this box like a week earlier because I could've saved myself a little bit of money. I actually just bought cleansing wipes and facial wipes at CVS yesterday. They were only like $8, but hey, that's $8 I could've spent in Disney. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. This is the Apple and Lemon Peel to Cleanse and Moisturize all in one and again it's a cleansing and facial wipe. Next up is the food item of the month and we are getting the Good Bean 140 calories, 8 grams of protein and 5 grams of fiber. This is the fruit and no nut bar. This is in chocolate berry. It has chickpeas, dark chocolate, red berries and blueberries. The Good Bean is so crazy about nutty roasted chickpeas that we put them in everything. This crispy, chewy, fruity bar is naturally high in fiber, a good source of protein and has way fewer calories than the average fruit and nut bar. So go nuts or rather no nuts with the Good Bean. I'm actually starving, so I'm going to taste test it for you right now, and I'll let you know what I think. Mm. Mm. That's good. I was a little skeptical about the chickpeas, but that's actually delicious. I like that a lot. There are three things left in the box, and the next thing that I'm pulling out is by Soriel. We actually got something from this brand before. We got the little over-the-shoulder clutch, and I absolutely love it. I use it all the time. It's the same exact material as this, only it's in blue. And this seems to be like a little credit card holder or a license holder. Let's pull it out. Yeah, so it looks like a little card holder. It has a little spot right in the middle. I like that design inside as well. So it has a little spot for like your license. And in the back, it has two little pouches that you can put all your cards. And they're also giving us, here's $25 for your next purchase, and you just have to use the code on the back. But yeah, I like this. I could actually bring this to Disney with me, and I didn't buy this, so that's exciting. And I can put my credit cards and my license and then just throw it into my little clutch. I'm so mad at myself right now. The next thing that we're getting in the box is another thing that we just purchased for Disney. If I would have just got this box like a week sooner, we could have saved ourselves a lot of money. But again, they're all awesome products that I will get use out of, so I'm not mad at Pop Sugar whatsoever. This is actually a pretty awesome box. But the next thing that we're getting is a Pop Dental Wear Style Meets Function, a super soft travel toothbrush. And it's a portable toothbrush, sleek, travel-friendly design. You can use it anywhere. 
and it's over 22,000 strokes per minute. So I think that means that this is an electronic toothbrush. That's really awesome. I don't even have one of those. I thought this was just a travel toothbrush. It seems to be an electronic toothbrush. It is pop your smile, and yeah, over 22,000 strokes per minute. That's a lot of strokes per minute. Oh, I'm really excited about this. How cool. This is so nifty. I'm really impressed right now. And the very last thing that we're getting in the box is some stationery. These are signature, distinctly hallmark, distinctly you cards. It looks like a whole package of cards that they're sending to us. I'm actually wildly impressed with this. When I used to live at home, my mom used to have a whole little section in her cedar closet with all different cards that she had for different occasions. And now that I just bought my own house, I don't have that and I'm constantly like going to the store to buy cards. So it would be nice to have some cards on hand. These are a bride to be card a happy birthday card, and some hello cheerful, I don't know what this is, hello beautiful, this isn't even a card, this is a personalized message, I'm a little confused by this, but I'm going to open it up and check it out and let you guys know what it is. So this did turn out to be a card, but it is on like a glass plate, I actually don't even think I would send this out, I actually kind of like this to just cut this piece off and put it in like a little frame, like a little shadow box frame and hang this in my room. It's really really pretty, but like I said, it's a glass, it's a glass piece on top or a plastic piece on top. It seems like a lot of work to send out as a card, but I really really like the design and I like the graphics to it and I'm going to hang this up in my room. And that's it. That's everything I received in the Pop Sugar Must Have box for July 2015. And I have to say, I really like this box a lot overall. Everything was very practical and I'll get good use out of everything. But I will say there was no wow factor item in this box. There was no one item that I was like, wow, that item just completely made the box for me. But overall, it was pretty amazing and I like that I'll get use out of everything. But that's what I think. I would love to know what you guys think below. Did you like this box? Did you not like this box? Thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed my videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I would truly appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for everything that you do on my channel. Thank you for bringing me to over 12,000 subscribers. That is just mind blowing to me. I can't even believe that and I appreciate it and I appreciate you guys each and every day. Thank you for all your love, support and positivity on my channel and I hope that you're having an amazing, amazing summer. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!